So here's the thing, if you're new here, you may not know this about me, but if you aren't, you definitely do. I'm a big fan of like Team Treehouse and Udemy and all of those online courses for learning how to learn development and software development and web development or whatever version of, you know, digital programming that you wanna get into, right? And those things are really good at teaching you stuff. They're really good at getting technique down and the basics of a language and how to make something do X and something else do Y, right? But see, there's also this problem with those things, and that's that sometimes they can be not super engaging. They're not exactly the most fun thing to always do. And that's a problem if you're trying to learn something on your own. Hi, Leo. You go into Udemy and you buy a course and you see that it's 40 hours long and you get really excited because there's so much information and you're gonna learn so much. And then you do an hour and then two hours and then three hours and then four hours and eight hours. And you know, eventually you're 25% of the way through the course and then there's a possibility you hit a wall. And that's happened with me with courses that I've bought on Udemy. It's happened with me on Team Treehouse. I'll have that progression bar go up and then I'll just stop because I'm not entirely engaged in it. I like learning, I love learning, but I'm not engaged in the actual projects. And if this is something that's happened to you, then I've got a bit of a tip for you. So I think it's very important to learn from experts, right? Like people who teach Udemy courses are probably pretty good at this sort of thing because they're making money teaching courses. And you know, they have a lot of knowledge that you may not have or you may not know how to parse through if you just Googled every answer known to man. But I think there is value in messing up, in building not perfect software, in building projects on your own without the backbone of Udemy there to teach you exactly what it is you need to do. And let me be completely clear here, this will come at a cost. You're not going to learn as quickly if you're fumbling around on your own. You're not going to be job ready immediately and you're going to make mistakes and those mistakes are going to be frustrating. But if you pick a project on your own, you come up with your own idea, or you decide you want to build something that you enjoy, even if you have no ideas for what to build, you can still build a clone of your favorite app right now. Are you a big fan of Instagram? Build that. Are you a big fan of Tinder? Build that. Are you a big fan of Twitter? Build that. And if you have your own ideas, that's even better, because there's something that that's going to give you that a Udemy course is never going to give you from the beginning to the end of the project. See, we buy a Udemy course and we've invested money, so we're investing in learning in it, but that investment only holds up for so long. And if the course is engaging enough, it can hold you for longer. And if you really, really want this, you'll probably finish it, but you may not finish it as quickly as you would a project that you have passion for. And that's what I'm talking about here. Find something that you want to build that you're passionate about, and that will drive you to the end. Because passion is one of those things that you can't just kind of make up. You either have it for something or you don't. And you may have passion for software development, but if you interject passion with the actual thing that you're building, that's just a double dose. And it's going to make you even more productive and it's going to make you work harder to achieve that goal. When I was first starting this web development thing, I got into it and interested in code because I had an idea, an idea for an app that I wanted to build. If you know about my journey to web development, you probably already know that. But I was super passionate about this idea. And the first thing I did was hop on Codecademy because I found out it was free and I started learning. And I was really passionate about learning for a little while, but then I lost that passion for learning because it wasn't getting me to where I wanted to be which was building the thing that I wanted. One of the biggest selling points on the bootcamp that I ended up going to was that we got three weeks at the end to go build our own thing. We got to pick a final project and then vote on them and then build it. And for some reason, I had this supreme amount of confidence that my idea was a good idea, so I thought my idea would get picked. Luckily it did, and I got to build that idea at the end of the bootcamp. And so that passion drove me through the bootcamp to be able to produce the thing that I wanted to produce. Now, you'll just be starting out in this thing, so are you going to go and build the next Facebook with your first app idea and the first thing that you build? Maybe not, but what you could do is lay the foundations for the thing that will end up eventually being the next Facebook. Or you'll lay the foundation for something that you can work on after you get your first job and take it from start to finish in the proper way. And that's super exciting. But don't let buying courses and having them slow you down because you've lost a fondness for this or you're just bored with that format slow you down in learning. If you get tired of taking a course or you feel like you've learned enough to build a piece of whatever it is that you eventually wanna build, 
go build that thing and go back to the course later on. Those things will always be there. Just make sure you're always maintaining a sense of code and be practicing the whole time. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for today. It's just a little daily dose of motivation and a different idea to maybe change things up on your journey to learning code. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button because they're super awesome and they make me smile. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you wanna tell me what the thing is that you really, really, really wanna build with these skills that you are building by learning, leave it down in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to follow along in my journey. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you again very soon. Bye.